Good morning, YouTube family. It's Brad from the Canadian Adventure Seekers. Today we are venturing out, out and, and we're going to go take a look at some land. And uh, we have a vehicle that we are dropping off that we just sold. And uh, we're going to go see Terry Lynn's family. So we have lots happening this weekend, uh, but uh, you know the first and foremost important thing will be taking a look at that land. We are excited. There's two pieces that we're looking at. One's 22 acres and the other one is 55. They both support what we're looking for in terms of a little bit of um, swamp, a little bit of open land, and then of course trails around Crown land for ATVs and other adventures we want to take place in throughout the year. So stay tuned and uh, we'll hook you up when we hit our destination. Good morning YouTube family. Today is January the 20th, 2023 and we're down here in Gananoc Way and this is the dreadful weather they have. We drove five hours through ice conditions and uh, we haven't seen snow for a while in southern Ontario. But this is what it looks like. So today we continue our adventure, heading a little further north, and uh, then we're going to go off to, uh, we have a few errands to do there, and then we're going to go off and take a look at two properties that are near the Maddock area. And that'll happen tomorrow morning, so stay tuned. We are ready to go. We even have Ozzy back there. Hey Oz, say hi to everybody. Ozzy, say hi. He loves road trips. Anyways, off to the north we go. Morning, YouTube Stay tuned. Fan. Here we are with Terry Lynn. Hey. And Brad Borland from the Canadian Adventure Seekers. Today we are venturing out of town. We are in Gananoque Way. We just came here for a few um, little errands we had to do and now we are going on the road to go take a look at two properties just north of Belleville So when we get there our weather is Very interesting. It's icy, but the forecast says it's supposed to be sunny and minus one today So hopefully things do start melting a little bit and the road conditions are favorable But um, some of the roads we're gonna be going down as we head further north um just north of Bad Belleville, they're going to be back roads and uh, what do you call those um, lumber logging roads? Logging roads. So, um, so stay tuned, and we'll bring you in when we get to our destination. So we stayed at the Howard Johnson for two days, and it was an enjoyable visit. Tails or uh, not Tail, but again, Aqua is wide awake today. It's around eight fifty, zero degrees right now. And uh, lots happening in this little town on a January Saturday morning. So, young lady, are you ready to go? I am. So let's hit the road. I'm excited. Get some Tim Hortons first, I think, right? Definitely. Yeah. And look at that, Aussie the adventure pup in his little cocoon, ready to go. All right. <laughs> so, again, we'll bring you along once we get to our destination. If there's any excitement beforehand, we'll we'll fill you in. We'll fill you in. Take care. And we have a nice accident on the eastbound 401. What a disaster. Because look at the, 
look at the backup. So just to let you guys know, Gananoc Way is an area where, let's put it this way, it's almost like Cartage Alley down by the Chatham area, Windsor. A lot of accidents happen here, a lot of irresponsible drivers, a lot of truck drivers fall asleep. Um, it's just a nasty area. There is no protection from the snow when the winds pick up from the lake, or the, sorry, from the river. There's no protection. So it is a, it's a tight one. And now they have to try getting all these transport trucks out of here before they can work on clearing the issue. Anyways, looks like they have the 401 eastbound closed. So we got cars going the wrong way on the highway just so they can get off. OPP has actually handled this one pretty good. There's another one along the side of the road. A lot of carnage. Ozzy just loves traveling. So we'll be turning in four kilometers, and this will be the 22 acres that we're looking at that has two trailers on it. There's a shed, there's a container, so, and there's some open land. Um, we don't think we'll be able to drive into it because there was probably some snow plow um, drifts in that uh, right at the entrance of the property, so we'll probably have to walk in but it's just coming right up here. In 300 meters, turn right onto St. Ola Road. Ola Road, St. Ola Road. Onto St. Ola Road. So we're not too sure how far we have to travel down here. So here's 281. Ozzy, come. So like I said, it's not to be accessible by vehicle right now. Come on, Oz. Down tree. That is not a bad walk, and it's... You have to move the tree, of course. And we'd have to cut down some of these trees, these branches here, to get through here, but... This is very achievable.
Ozzy's just loving the snow. But this is the openness. Two trailers. A shed. So lots of down trees. And that I would assume came from that storm we had went through here at the end of May, beginning of June last year. There is some deer, deer, rabbit. It's like a little bit of swamp land in there. There's an old car. But let's have a nice little opening here. So that would be the entrance into this place. Like I said before, we'd have to cut down some of the branches on these trees to get the truck camper in. The Jeep would be no problem. Nice open area. The trailers are, um, they're old, but I think, I mean, I think they're okay for bringing some friends and that, that uh, don't have any access to camping gear for camping. A lot of shelter around here with the evergreens. Ozzy's loving it. He's already feeling like he's at home. And it does go further down that way, down further, and a little over left and right. So there's 22 acres here. We'll take a better look on a map, but... I like, I think TL likes. Yeah, it's very pretty. But yeah, first, if you bought this, the first objective would be that big tree down at the end. And it's not much of a drive into the campsite from the main road. And uh, if we kept that actually maintained, you'd be able to come up here and do some winter camping easily. Tail's boat ready to collapse on me. Yeah, I'm out of shape. <laughs> to get back into doing stuff like this. There'll be a um, trail, it's called the Hastings Heritage Trail. 
and we're coming right up to it here and this is probably it right here so this is for snowmobiles atv so this is close to a lot of amenities like i mean if you're heading back to mad dock um it's about a 30 minute drive but then if we go straight up here there's a lake yeah let's we, we're gonna experience this we're gonna see everything and yeah gas station corner store this is the lake So this is the lake, Steenberg Lake. And it's all frozen right now. Got snowmobilers out there. This is nice. And this would be a nice little ATV drive down here. This I think is, is a sandy beach. And then there's just some cottages and year-round homes all along there. And a ton of crown land. So, we really have to think about this one, ATL. Eh, Good one. It's the street from the entrance where we're looking. Um, there is a, a small convenience store that sells gas. Doesn't look like it's open during the off-season. But uh, I'm sure it's a busy place when uh, when the season opens. So this is the other road, West Low Coon Lake Road or something like that. And again, there's another variety store, not too big, but they offer. The and they're open. Oh, propane too. So we are going to be going just along this lake and probably taking this cut off right here, which will be East Road. And this will get us to the other property. Most likely we won't be able to get onto it because, because the property is about five kilometers off the road and it is a hydro line road, which being winter, I guarantee will not be accessible. So we're almost at this destination, so stay tuned. Sorry we didn't bring you along on that one, but it was a really a trail and uh, we just drove by it. It was pretty populated with snowmobiles. Um, so we just had to do a U-turn and sort of hightail it out of there because it was fairly busy. So that one's a no-go because it's a five kilometer trip on a trail that is really for ATV side-by-sides and snowmobiles during the winter. So we'll just, uh, we'll not check that one off our list. But Tiao's, Tiao's navigating them like an expert. I won't tell you, she tried to take, we turned her around and she was going the wrong way again, but anyway, <laughs> she would have realized that she was going the wrong direction. Eventually. Yeah. But very nice area. And we have this little lake here, just off to our right as we exit this little country road. You just can't be Eastern and Northern Ontario with beauty. There's so many small lakes that are 
not populated with people. I'm sure these areas are fairly busy in the summertime with cottagers coming up here. But uh, the 22 acres is a huge possibility. A lot of options you can do on that land, accessible from the main run, um, accessible during the winter time if you had a snow plow. Um, the roads here, as you can see, the roads here are in great shape. These are the main roads to get to some of the, uh, the crown land spots and so some of the private properties. So Bradley, that property was pretty awesome. It Even. was. Yeah. And we have an awful lot to think about because it really meets all the checkpoints on our list, mm -hmm. including price and mm -hmm. location. So we have a lot to think about. So stay tuned. Yes. And if we buy it, you'll see us loading our uh, ATVs and our camper on it and enjoying time at that location. So stay tuned. Stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching.